Hi there, today we're unboxing a high power dual band outdoor Wi-Fi range extender. So let me open up the initial plastic on this first of all. And let's have a quick look around the packaging. Quite a heavy duty extender here. Should be an interesting one to try out. So supports dual band here, so that's quite good. So 2.4 gigahertz plus five gigahertz. Speeds of up to 600 megabits per second. Passive power over internet cable for flexible placement. So supposedly you could put an ethernet cable in there which will power it and obviously provide the ethernet connection for it to transmit on. It's got a high transmission power up to 600 MW for extreme Wi-Fi coverage. Not sure what that means. Uh, and weatherproof enclosure. So you can actually mount this outside. So let's have a brief look around the packaging. Easy installation. It says, obviously some details there. And let's have a look inside, right. Oh, one of the screws has just popped out. There you go. Two antenna there. One with 2.4G and the other one with 5G on there. Quite a heavy duty product to get really. Um, used in more, I'd say, commercial places as well. So say um, you had a coffee shop or something and you needed something like this to give a stronger signal. Okay, let me just empty this out and let's go through the bits we get. <clears throat> okay, so these are all the items you get in the packaging. So let's quickly go through the bits and pieces. So first of all, looks like we've got a, an ethernet cable here. Yep, ethernet cable, nice build quality there. Got a clip that holds the two antennae together. Got some raw plugs and screws here, obviously to fix this onto a wall. Um, we've got a warranty card here. I guess it's, uh, you get an extra six months on registering it. Okay, free, 30 days worry-free money back guarantee. Okay, cool. We've got a quick installation guide here. Let's have a quick check of this. All in English on both sides. It's very good. We've got some cable ties here, I guess just to tie it and lock it in place. Um, we've got a clip, I guess this would be screwed onto a wall and then you just place this on top. And then you can, I guess, ah, there you go. So the cable ties would, could literally go in there and you could table, cable tie it to something if you wanted, like so. So a number of different ways of doing this. Um, and it looks like some sort of module here. So it seems, let's have a look, hang on first of all, you've got your two aerials as well. So let's start putting this together. So it's got it clearly marked which one goes where. Wouldn't really thought it'd make a difference, but we'll just do it correctly. Okay, 5G, 2G. And then have a look at this. Build quality is okay. Not too light and flimsy, but not heavy at all. Okay, there's a cover on there. Got a bit of rubber. And this comes off as well, just to show. Got a ground, looks like a ground connection there. 
we've got yeah, WAN or LAN connection, which is powered over Ethernet, so PoE, and then you've got a reset button just here. So, a bit strange, it's got power over Ethernet there. So, I guess that's how the module works. Then you probably have to, let's, let's show this. Get that going into there. And the other end, no doubt, goes in, hang on, says on there, on this module. So you've got, ooh, I don't know if it's appearing clearly, but you've got power of Ethernet here, you've got on off here, you've got LAN data in, and DC 24 volts. So obviously, this is how it would be. So if you're placing this outside, um, not too bad, you could drill a hole, get this going through the hole, and then obviously power it on. Quite straightforward, you know, nothing too tricky about this. Um, got a bit of rubber here as well, obviously to seal the actual connection with the wire, so that's quite good. So it should be a nice watertight finish, and by the time it's all mounted and everything, it should be quite a good seal. Let me pull this out just show you've got a black o-ring on there and then you've got a little attachment there just keeps them tightly together like so it should just be like that and that's the main wi-fi extender put together next thing you take the connector block here so you can, in fact, plug this directly into power, of e power over Ethernet um, switch, for example. But I actually tried it with my CCTV system. So I've got a spare point on there, plugged it in, and instantly it started working. So quite impressive if you wanted to have it uh, near something like that. So that's quite useful. But I'm going to use it with this. Obviously, I just did it as a test. So power of Ethernet part here, on-off switch. So I'll plug that in there. There's a few different ways of doing this. So I'll show two of the methods and I'll show the interface, um, the functions you get on there. So here you could actually put a, an ether, ethernet connector going in, you know, to connect it to your LAN. Um, initially, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just plug in the power, which is just here. And I'll plug in the other end. And let's just let it power up and initialize. Press the button on there, that light comes on, just to show. There you go, there's the other lights, so it's just initializing now. Put the light back on. Okay, let me get my, my phone. And let's attempt to connect to this. Okay, so I've gone to the Wi-Fi connection options here, and Wavelink AC and Wavelink N are visible. So you can connect to either one of these. So let's connect to that one. Oh, let me try, oh, there you go. I'll just connect, click on it. And Manage Router, if I just click on that, There's the internet interface for it. So the, the password for it, sorry, the username is admin. So let me just do that because some of the auto filling options are coming up. And username is uh, admin and the password is admin as well. Then you'll get the following dialog, changing your password, which we don't want to do. Uh, and these are the options you get on there just to show. So we're gonna go for repeater. So this is quite a quite an easy way to set this up very quickly. So you don't need to plug in an ethernet cable or anything like that. You just hit this, it scans the local Wi-Fi networks. You just pick one. So I'm gonna pick that one and I'm gonna put the password in. 
off camera so I put the password in off camera and it's now it's saved the settings and it's just restarting and I'm gonna see a new link called this so it's link dash 5g and in brackets 2g so that's going to be the new connection that's going to appear so what it's doing it's just connecting wirelessly to the existing Wi-Fi and it's, it's providing another connection point so we'll let that reboot and initialize and then I'll show it connecting to the new one okay so the extenders restarted and there you have it the extended Wi-Fi signal coming off the new extender so I'll click on it and then it's connected and that's it so if I quickly just go on the web um, let me just Go to Google very quickly just I to show test. it working. There you go. Excellent, very simple to do. So let me show another way of doing this. So what we can do, we can reset this again. So all you have to do, very simple, just hold on to the button at the bottom for about 10 seconds. 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. And then you release. And what you'll see, that's it starting up. So we'll just give it a moment, let it start up. And let's go back into the, the menu. So this, what we've done at the moment, is in repeater mode, they call it. Okay, let me go for Wi-Fi. Let's see if it, when it comes back up again. There you go. I'll jump on that. Click on settings. Manage router. Let me log in. Okay. It's just logged in. There you go. We could have it also in router mode. And with this, you can literally just plug in your ethernet connection into here and that will actually provide a stronger connection to the actual extender and then all you do is just connect to this directly Okay, we'll just you can rename it as well. And let's just let it restart. Okay, so there you go. I've connected to it. And just to show signal strength is there. And another thing to show. Yep, the IP addresses. So very good so I've had a play about with this um, and it's very good it's, it's quite a heavy-duty product to probably have in your property but obviously if you've got a lot of issues with Wi-Fi um, very good to have um, also you can place it outside which is a nice feature as well so if you're having issues getting connectivity in your garden another good thing you can do with that just obviously fit this with the bracket here uh, you can either use the mounting screws or you can use the cable ties just to tie up somewhere and then obviously drill your hole obviously it's nice that there's a few ways of doing this so you can 
drill a thin hole, pop this through, and then have this at the other end. So yeah, a good product, I've tested it. Um, the range is very good, performance is very good as well. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Uh, thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.